We're going to look at upper limb tension test one, which biases the median nerve. And the important word here is bias, because we're not really trying to isolate any structure. It's really not anatomically possible to do so. But we're going to look at biasing the median nerve, which is the nerve that gets involved with uh, carpal tunnel syndrome mostly. All right, so we're going to look at first looking at your hand down at your side. All right, and then we're going to bring the arm up till it gets a little bit higher than the shoulder, and then you're going to take the fingers away from the shoulder. So here you're seeking, is there any type of tension through there? Most people are going to have some tension here. That doesn't mean that it's necessarily pathological. All right, so the fingers go back. If that doesn't do anything, then you can add a little bit of neck motion, side bending away from the hand, and see if that adds any tension on there. All right, so then we can take joint by joint some of the tension away. So if I have a little tension with getting into this position, and then I go here and I flex the wrist, and that takes the tension away, that tells me that at least somewhat the, the nerve is involved and it's, and it's tense. So I actually get a little bit of a symptom here where just by putting my wrist into extension back here, I don't even have to side bend my head, I get a little bit of tension down in the pathway of the median nerve. All right, if I flex the wrist, it goes away. So that tells me that I got some nerve tension. That doesn't necessarily mean it's pathological. It just means that it's getting a stretch when I'm doing that movement. So it would be a good idea for me to do some of these exercises. All right, so that's upper limb tension test one. Right. Upper limb tension test 2A and 2B. 2A is, again, a median nerve bias. We're going to just look down at the hand, extend the wrist. And the key here is that you feel like you're reaching your hand away from your head or you know, reaching down towards the ground in this extension. So you're creating a depression of the shoulder. All right, and if you see if you get any tension up through the shoulder or anywhere down the arm, really it can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be a specific location, but really anywhere down the arm. And then we're going to again add this side bending of the neck and just see if that sensitizes it a little bit. All right, so taking that away. Now again, I feel just by reaching my shoulder down into depression, I get a little bit of a symptom there. So if I flex the wrist, it goes away. So again, I already saw that I have a little bit of median nerve bias tension up here. So it's not surprising that I have a little bit down here as well. All right, so that's upper limb tension test 2A, uh, biasing the median nerve. Now 2B is the same position but what we do is we flex the wrist, internally rotate the shoulder. Okay, and this is supposed to be biasing the radial nerve, but again, it doesn't isolate it. So you're doing the same thing, reaching the hand down to the ground. You're just creating an internal rotation in the shoulder and flexing the wrist and seeing if you get any type of symptoms there. And again, you can add the neck to the side to see if that sensitizes a little bit. Don't get as much tension in this position. All right, I can take the neck. If I go into the other direction, it should theoretically take some of the tension off. In this case, it certainly does. So again, there's a little bit of tension down the whole arm there. All right, upper limb tension test three, bias the ulnar nerves. Two ways to do this. We can bring the arm up like we're carrying a tray table. So this is gonna be external rotation of the shoulder. All right, and then we add some supination of the forearm and then again, extension of the wrist. And then as we bring this in, the more I bring the shoulder back, the more likely there'll be some tension. And again, we can always add that side bending of the neck. All right, the nerves come out of the neck and then they go down the whole uh, arm there. So we're really looking to just go joint by joint and seeing if we're adding some tension to an area, is there gonna be any symptom, uh, pain, numbness, tingling? There's, there's a variety of different symptoms you can, you can get. All right, so you're down in this position. The other option is to do a half of a mask position where you kind of, you're still in this shoulder external rotation, but you add a little bit of flexion to the elbow. And now you're going into further supination. All right, and then you look through the hole in your hand here. Okay, so that just adds a little bit of further extension into the fourth and fifth fingers, which can really sometimes sensitize that, almost like you hit your funny bone feeling down into the pinky. All right, so those are two options for median nerve bias upper limb tension test three.